Hi, Hiram here. Several years ago when I started making my uh, videos for YouTube, one of the first things I played with was this. It's called the Vulcan Safety Chef Camp Stove. I got a couple of these. It's a pretty cool little stove. It has a handle on it so that you can, you know, play around with, move it when it's hot. But what it uses is a canister inside here. Has a heating chamber, heats up and makes a pretty cool thing. But at the time when I bought these, I didn't have the canister that went inside. Well, I just recently was able to score a couple of them. This is it. Sorry about that. Little rough shape, but it's the uh, Vulcan SA fuel to be used in the safety chef. So I thought what I'd do today is go back and play with one of these. See what it looks like. Now, when I shake it, it sounds like there's still liquid in here. So I'm always, I've always been assuming that it was probably some form of a uh, sterno or whatever, whatever their batch is. Now what it says on the top is to open, punch, and pry here. I don't know if you can see that. But what I'm going to do is hit it with a side cutter. See if I can open it up with this to keep the top intact. I like these side cutters for opening up some can. Boy, this is a little tough. Okay, I think I'm all the way around. Let's see. Yep, it opened up. Huh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. I don't know what the stuff looked like to begin with, but it is still wet. But it does look like it shrunk a little bit. Definitely has a petro <coughs> petroleum smell to it. What I should have done was showed you first how it's got this little spring thing. The can sits on here, and then when you close it, this looks like asbestos type material closes down on the can and seals it off. Earlier I used uh, tuna fish cans and other things in here to play with different kind of alcohol and other stuff with it. But today I'm going to try with the actual stuff even though it's quite old. So it sets on the little spring thing that pushes it up. There we go. Just like so. And then this snaps down once you've got it lit. So what I'm going to do now real quick is get some, some water prepped and then I'll be right back and we'll try a test with this. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Uh, this is back in here. The stove does come with a snuffer lid and I guess you can put it on there to keep whatever f fuel is still left. But let's see if this will light. Whoa, yep, it lights. Okay, let me close this up. Just like so. Nice flame. I did not expect that. Okay, let me put my water on. Now it's up to 61 degrees. But this is two cups of water setting at 61. And let's see where this goes. Here we are almost two and a half minutes into the test. Uh, temperatures up to 149 degrees. I have to admit I did not expect this kind of flame. I don't think I got this on anything else that I use so this may be the the age of the canister. I mean I'm guessing that this stuff is probably 20 years old or more. Can't find any dates on anything but uh, it does look like it's starting to soot up the pan somewhat. So we'll see what happens from here. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 4 minutes 5 seconds. Okay, let me see if I can put this out so I can see how much fuel is left. Yikes. Like I said, be careful with this type of stuff. 
No, that didn't do it. Okay. See if I can open this. That's hot. Nope, that won't do it. Like I said, it's probably the age of this canister. Let me see what I can do here. Quite a flame, huh? Hey, it shows you how it gets out of hand. Okay, you always have to have a fire extinguisher nearby, but I'm going to see if I can get this out otherwise. This is a good example of how things can get out of hand. Hmm, what to do with this? What to do? Okay. Big thing is to just keep your head. And what I'm going to try to do is move this over to the floor. Okay. Everything's hunky dory. Okay. I'm back. Let me get the other camera. What I've done is I put it over on the concrete floor. I'm just going to let it burn out. Again, this gives you an example, you know, got to be careful with this stuff. Remember, I'm a professional idiot. So my suggestion is don't use these old Vulcan canisters. I have another one, but there's no way in bla blue blazes I'm going to try it. So everything's all safe here. But let me go back to the other camera while this burns out. Okay, so I'm back. Let's see what this pan looks like. Huh, quite a bit of... There's soot on there. Again, this was made according to the can. The Safety Chef can. This was for to be used for fishing, hunting picnicking in the household it's showing using it indoors uh, boating using it on a boat and in camping so I assume at one time this was safe it's just that this old canister probably was not the smartest thing in the world to use so my word of advice is if anybody comes across the canisters don't use them indoors Probably don't use them, period. So let's see, what did we have here? So that got, with the way it was going, to, you know, excuse me, with the way that was going, two cups of water starting at 61 degrees came to a full boil in four minutes and five seconds. Now in the other tests that I've done with this, this is one that I haven't used yet, so it still has oil on it and it's not rusting. But another test that I've had with this uh, using denatured alcohol and sterno and stuff, I didn't have that problem of the flare up and everything. It's still well, I'm just about ready to go out now. <coughs> so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input on this one, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.